Hello everyone and welcome back to my second video of uh, Battle Sector. So we've just done the first tutorial and had a look at uh, the units that are in the game. So let's have a look at the second tutorial. So that's Advanced Combat. Now I have a feeling this game is going to be one of those games where you've just got to play it to get a, a feel for everything. There's so much <laughs> there's so much to, to know I think here. Every unit has special commands and abilities. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So this is the advanced combat tutorial. So let's have a look. This tutorial will teach you about charge attacks, uh, melee attacks, and momentum. Okay. Melee and charge attacks. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay, it's just showing me right. The other hoping at me is in much more favourable position to charge their target. Okay, choose them and let's charge them. By the blood. Ooh, wow. That feels quite heretical to be doing that, but <laughs> you've used all your maximum points, times ten your turn, alright. Surprised the salt marines are a bit more powerful in close combat. That's really what they're all about. A synoptic leader. Press to. Ah, right, okay. Just to be close enough to turn the battle. Oh, yeah, okay. So it shows them there. Can you zoom in? Oh, sweet. So they're just outside the, the top of the map there. Although these warriors will not be able to get into direct combat, they can still get close enough to turn the battle. Units are rewarded momentum for killing an enemy, depending on their faction trait. They are awarded addition. Okay. Let's bring the warriors close. <coughs> Oh, I see, the Tyranid Warriors, okay. While a unit is connected to a synoptic leader, they will double the momentum they gain. Ah, all the units that are spoken to you. Right. Ah, I see, okay, so these are the sort of passive abilities. Right. So now I'm tipping, if we go on there, it says yes, okay, connected, right. Let's do it. Oh, and there's the momentum, right. Three arrows. Uh, while searching two additional options above its command bar, bar and power, and search. Surging, okay, plus one to movement. Right. So, does that mean I should come this way? I guess it doesn't really matter.
So I've got. Well, I've only got one movement point. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So these guys are they? Oh, they're connected as well, are they? No. No, they're not. So what we really want to do? Ah, oh, they have no movement. Okay. Oh, good. This one's leap. Leaps at an enemy one tile away dealing melee damage. Can I use that? Cool down one. One AP. Alright, oh, I don't have any APs. Alright. So I have a feeling they're going to go down. <laughs> That's all good. Speed the momentum to impair, spend the momentum to impair the home against leap ability or surge to make an additional attack. Oh yeah, okay, so you have to be one one tile away to do that all right so now we basically just okay so i need to move here and i've got to... ah okay so i should be able to do that now i think yes <laughs> wow Whoa! All right, but I'm out of action points. Okay, but now so can they actually shoot down there? Oh, can taking fire! Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, that was pretty cool. Well, I think... Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it a bit more now, and I think uh, Tyranids are a bit more simplistic anyway. <laughs> so, let's... Uh, yeah, let's continue on to the next tutorial then. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting that. Weapons and armor. That was pretty cool. I presume this will be a Space Marine tutorial. Weapons training. This tutorial will teach you about the effective use of some of the weapons available to Space Marines units. We are the Lords of the Assault Doctrine! Move to the tile adjacent. On our way! Alright, now use the hand flamer. Crush them! Oh no! <laughs> By the blood! <laughs> I just went for a, a chainsaw attack there instead of hand flamer. So now we can go hand flamer and choose them, okay. The swarm has no right to live! Oh. Alright. So now that allows me to do this, right? Yes, okay, I get it. We are the defenders of balls. So unit list allows you just to jump straight to units, that's great. Uh, so what do I need to do again? There's a move to the indicator tile. Alright. Just want to give you a bit of a view of it as we do it. There we go. 
Now, I like the, um... Yeah, I like hang being able to zoom in on all these different uh, angles. Very cool. Now you see a twin assault cannon. Okay, so you can choose... Looks like you can choose the storm boulder as well, but we're obviously going to choose the assault cannon. Firing! <laughs> In the turn. Whoa, okay. Tyranno fix. Okay, so I just missed out on what that last bit said, but I presume it said do we kill it? Uh, assault Marines to here, perhaps? Not sure what it's ranged plasma on your request. Did say to move somewhere. I await your maybe, orders. I think, but I don't know actually what it said. Uh, maybe it was the tank. Okay, I guess you. Order confirmed. <clears throat> now I can move that to face. Yes. Now it's saying to use the storm bolt for some reason. <laughs> Block the storm boulder. We'll need a weapon with high Ah oh, okay. Gotcha. L blasters. Now these are essentially I think plasma yes, plasma incinerators. Move them to Move in into position. Just the best angle. There we go. Target acquired. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Now these guys may actually be out of points. Yes, they are. But I do have a dreadnought now. Ho <laughs> Oh, one of my favourite uh Favourites by far. The Furioso Dreadnoughts got the Furioso Fist, which is a, basically a gigantic power fist, which is very large single monitor. Move to melee range. Okay. Confirmed. That's got a lot of movement, which is good. Now attack with the power fist. So choose the power fist. <laughs> awesome. Choose the best. Let's have a look, yeah. Battle is yours to complete now as you see fit. Okay. So I've got no points left for him anyway. So he's down to 84. So can I fire? Firing? Victory. All right. Well, I think I've uh, completed the three tutorials now <laughs> wow it's actually uh it, it's pretty intuitive uh, it's to capture explosive remote makes i'm using photo mode press l3 at any time to pause the game and enter photo mode oh, very cool okay so so there you go so these uh yeah these two videos have really shown the tutorial um I think I'm going to move on now and start the campaign. So I might do uh, a bit of recording with that and show you guys the start of the campaign. Uh, pretty excited to start that. I might do that tonight, actually. But I hope you've enjoyed these couple of tutorial videos. It's been uh, quite fun learning the game, the basics of the game. I'm really excited to get my hands on um, larger scale battles. I'm sure with the campaign, it's going to start off reasonably small and build up larger and i'm looking forward to seeing whether i unlock perhaps more uh playable units 
um, and characters, or maybe they get upgraded or something. I know I'm very, um, yeah, very interested to see. I wish it had more factions already. <laughs> I, I I understand why they've done it. They've made all the factions DLCs. They've made it like the tabletop. So if you wanna, if you wanna choose a race to play as, you sort of have to buy it. I sort of get that, but it's a shame they couldn't give you a basic version of another race. Um, but anyway, yeah, looking forward to playing their campaign. So thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.